Thank you. I'll try to follow um, the other speaker and speak in English so that you don't need to have your headphones on. I have some notes while I'm needing this thing here. Um, as you might notice, this is, a, this is another quote um, from Bill Bernbach, uh, slightly tweaked. Um, because in that lies truth, um, and that truth is what I think is all about. Um, online communication um, allows us now to have something that 20 years ago when I started in advertising wasn't impossible. Um, communication starts being transparent, um, measurable. Um, you see an impact. Um, so in fact, everything that we do online makes us accountable. But before I want to uh, jump into my presentation, um, happy birthday to DDB. Um, that basically is the reason why we all are here. Um, well, it's been 50 years, that was the truth. That, that's the quote we all started with. The truth isn't the truth until people believe you. Who, who of you knows that this is just a small part of the whole quote? Anyone Googled it? I did. It's much longer. It's a lot longer, actually, and I'd love to talk about it. And they can't believe if you don't know what you're saying. And they can't know what you're saying if they don't listen to you. And they won't listen if you're not interested. And you won't be interesting unless you say things imaginatively, originally, or freshly, or you use a fox. That was pretty cool, I must say. Um, luckily, you're not in my group. Um, looking at that and reading that, I thought, that's genius. That actually is putting together something that someone else was writing down 113 years ago. Anyone knows who Elmo Lewis is? Elmo Lewis invented the fourth stage of communication, AIDA, attention, interest, desire, action. Because in there lies the recipe for good communication and advertising. If you fulfill that, you get people to listen. What you say, and they start believing, and truth, I assume, is gonna be buying something, or liking it, like you would say nowadays. If you Google truth, you get tons, tons of links. In fact, it was when you Google it on the German page, just the word truth, 747 million truths. So one could say Google is truth, has truth, knows what truth is. Really? Well, it is getting difficult. Even 1997, Lucky Strike said, you're getting so many messages a day, so we're finding truth. How do you find the truth? You're getting difficult. At that time, they quoted it was 1,213 communication messages a day. I assume nowadays it's going to be 2,000, 2,500. In which you as a consumer, a human building, a people, have to find truth. Difficult task. And it's getting worse, right? And that's a quick snapshot from the supermarket around the corner. It is getting worse. So, what do you do about it? I would actually say that this thing is not working. Google goes even one step further. Google knows the zero moment of truth. Before everything becomes truth, how's that going to work? Well, um, pretty easy actually, when you follow the recipe of Bill Bernbach. Um, the idea behind the zero moment of truth is that if you do everything right, if you've got great communication, if you inspire people, if you shake them and wake them up, if you've got great creative execution and ideas, you create a stimulus. Attention. And what happens nowadays is consumers or people still sort of relax, laying back passive, and we all close our eyes and wait until the truth becomes true. They run to the shelf and buy things. No. What do you do? Mentioned before, mentioned in the section before. People are social, aren't they? They talk about things. So you get that stimulus now, you've got the great communication. What happens is that people want more. Before it becomes true, before they run to the shelf and buy, they go Google, don't they? If you get a stimulus, whether it's gonna be advertising communication or anything else, you want to know more. How do you do that? You ask people in your social profile, you ask Google, for instance, by the way, anyone any idea how many search queries we are getting a day? Four billion. 
ever rising. Four billion queries a day. They are not all stimulated by advertising, of course not, but a lot are. So in fact, looking at what you do in sort of push communication and what becomes two, at the end, there is loads in between. So in fact, if you use Google, you should be able to know the truth before that comes true. Hmm? Let's see. Anyone knows that commercial? Homba? The claim? Bizarre claim. Das grenzenlose Haus. Pretty bizarre, isn't it? What happened is the second they started that commercial, and I'm not going to run it now, because I tried to stick it in there in 10 minutes. Um, the second queries on Google for exactly das grenzenlose Haus went up. That didn't exist before, obviously not, because nobody ever pushed that out and communicated it. The second, it worked out. And it, it stayed for quite a long while until it phased out and now it's not been used anymore. But as long as it was out as a campaign, people looked for it actually. So in fact, you could say, before people now go to Hornbach or buy something, before they even say, well, that's good advertising, the first thing they did is Googling. Second example, which you can't see here. Um, maybe, maybe I could ask the technique to run that spot, but by like, clicking on it, is that possible? Anyone behind the table? Just use the mouse and try, yeah, yeah. Wenn du kein iPhone hast, hast du keinen iPod in deinem Handy. Bizarre, isn't it? If you haven't got an iPhone, Mit deiner you haven't Musik. got an iPod. The, the final claim is if you haven't got an iPod, Phone, you haven't got an iPhone. Und du hast iTunes nicht auf deinem Handy. Den Music Store Nummer 1 weltweit. Mit Genius. The commercial is the first time. The first thing people do is they Google if you haven't got an iPhone. They didn't Google iPhone, Apple, or anything else. They Googled if you haven't got an iPhone. So, again, before something happens, before people run to the shelf, before it becomes true, or you might go out and say, well, it's a cool new phone out there. They've went online and tried to find something about it. So, in other words, if all that is true, the theory of the zero moment of truth, and if that works, then would search equal truth. So by the time people search for it, it's on the way becoming the truth, isn't it? And if that's true, shouldn't we then be able to know who's going to win the race for the White House? Well, let's see. What you see here is search queries for Obama and Mitt Romney. And in fact, October 22nd, when the last and final debate was, Obama managed to get a bigger gap between him and Romney. I don't know how it's going to continue. There's another two weeks to go. But currently, according to just sort of the buzz and people looking for the names and the people, I would say, yes, we can. <laughs> And that's everything I wanted to tell you about truth. There is truth in online. And in fact, ignoring it and not starting thinking about communication from a different point of view and using the recipe of Bill Bernbach, that's going to come out as truth. Thank you very much.